Today's Hot Wheels 2020 International. Focus on that international G case is brought to you by ANJ Toys. It was not too long ago, just a few days ago, that I opened up the US G case from Hot Wheels from ANJ Toys, and I told you they usually send me both. And it really is up to Mattel when they send what? Typically, the international case is released, or worldwide case, whatever you want to call it, is released first, and that's whenever I do a, an unboxing, that's usually the first one I do in this case. And a lot of times this year, they've actually released both about the same time. So I actually got the US case first, and then uh, now the international case came. Now you're looking at this, I'm sure, this little bit of damage, and actually if I turn this around, there's quite a bit of damage right up here. You can't really totally see it, but right here in this corner, and you might say, oh no, pro let me just make it very, very clear. I tell Ken over at ANJ Toys, if any cases happen to come with a rip or a, t a tear, a big scrunch, please send them to me. Obviously, he's selling these to you and to a bunch of other people, and I want those cases to go mint to other people. We just open these up. We're going to look at what's inside. Even if it's a treasure hunt that's absolutely crunched, it doesn't matter. Um, we're going to look inside. Uh, if there's models that I want to add to my collection, I might add them one or two. I open them anyway, and anything else gets donated. And most of those cars, once they're donated, people just want to rip them open and play with them, right? So, and uh, so, don't. Uh, some people go, "Oh, that sucks." That it, you know, if they get these cases, it sometimes happens in transit. Then it's perfect to send these to me. So I just want to make that very clear at the beginning. Um, and now let's just open this up, right? That's enough about the damage case. We might find a couple of cards in here that uh, are crunched or scrunched. Um, if the models are crunched or scrunched, that's all right. We know what's in here. Now, when I open the U.S. case, I'm more I'm kind of interested to see how this goes because the U.S. case that we opened did not have the the super in this one is the Nissan GTR. It's an interesting one because obviously it's a different color. But the regular is the white Nissan GTR, both the 50th anniversary celebrating the GTR. And that was not in there, but two regular, regular treasure hunts were in there. And I can already see right there, there's your white Nissan GTR. So this will be a different case to be sure, because we're going to get that white Nissan GTR. And everything looks to be intact, right? So we'll get to that in a second. Let's open these up. We started off with the Dune It Up. I don't need to talk too much about these because we did just a few days ago. Dune It Up, Hot Wheels Warp Speeder, and the Wheelie Chair. 2005 Ford Mustang, the 64 Chevy Nova Wagon, and the Road Bandit. Getting a little bit of a glare here, so I'm going to try and adjust quickly here for you guys so we can see these right. So that's the Road Bandit. I think there was another another model that uh, so a couple of you mentioned was not included in here. If we come across it, we'll look at it. There's the Mazda RX-7, the orange one. Um, obviously the Super from the case previous. So if you found it with real riders, and I think people are missing it because the wheels look a lot very similar in the Super to the regular. I've seen a couple of people say they've looked through work, um, opened cases and the Super's still in there. Uh, Hot Wheel Warp Speeder, and then the Honda Monkey Z50. Diaper Dragger, 98 Subaru Impreza 22B STI version. I just dig that casting. And then the Duck and Roll. Since we've looked at these, we're not going to spend too much time on them. Power Rocket in blue, 64 Chevy Impala, and there's the Motosaurus, like we said. We can look and see if we find the ID one. We will, uh, we got the ID chase, but that is not the ID chase. So here we go. So we did get the Nissan GTR. Happy to see that. That is the regular version in white. Of course, it will be very easy to detect if you got the Super because this will be not only a Spectre Flame color, but Spectre Flame Blue. So two anniversary editions that Nissan released to celebrate the GTR 50th anniversary. And one is white and one is blue, and that's how they did it. Instead of just doing a standard recolor, they did it with the Super, and I think that is very cool. Mazda RX-7 and the Octane. Really dig that Nissan GTR. I love that they did that. I hope they do something like that again. I don't know for what car, but we'll see. Tooligan. Mattel Dream Mobile. 
And then the very cool 87 Dodge D100. Turbone charged 42 Willys Matchbox or Matchbox. <laughs> 42 Willys MV Jeep. Uh, sometimes I get so lost in this world. Local motor in the uh, Thomas the Train model. That's funny. Matchbox Jeep. Turbo and Charge once again. There is the carbonator for whatever beverage I'm going to drink after I do this unboxing. And then the heavy hitcher. Linster prototype. Two Jet Z or two Jets. And then the 60 or the 76 Greenwood Corvette model that I adore. Custom 71 El Camino. The Batmobile, and there's the recolor of the RV there yet. Love that little model. Oh, I think this is the one that someone mentioned. They didn't see the uh, Ion Motors Thresher. Um, yeah, this was not in the other case, but it was in the previous case, though. This is the G case, so it was the case. Uh, was it, uh, what was the case before that? A, B, C, D, E, F, F case? G case? H? I don't remember. F case, right? Ion Motors Thresher with the return of the Cool Classics wheel. Some people thought these were real riders. These are not. It's the Cool Classics wheel. We already talked about it. Mattel Dreammobile and then the Land Rover Series 3 pickup. All right, let's see what is on this bottom side. You know, considering the box really took a beating, it doesn't look like the models uh, did. Well, we'll take a look here and see what we got. All right, Indy 500 Oval, 64 Chevy Impala, once again in the Hyper Rocker. Custom Ford Maverick in black, another carbonator, so my friend can have a beverage, and then the Octane. There's another Ion Motors Thresher. There's the 85 Honda City Turbo in red and a wheelie chair. Tooligan, Road Bandit, Loco Motorin. I'm guessing that other Thomas the Train characters might pop up there or something. I don't know. Um, Chill Mill, another Subaru Impreza, another 22B, and then the 95 RX-7 in blue. Chill Mill, once again, the fantastic yellow version of the Porsche Carrera, the 96 Porsche Carrera. Just dig it, just dig it, just dig it. Over and over again, the bone shaker. This was not in there. So this is the first time I'm seeing this one too, the Hudson Hornet. So yeah, big, big difference between the two cases, right? A lot of models that were not in that US case. And I'm sure they'll be in later versions once they hit stores. Sometimes the assortments are just what they are. Hot Wheels is not going to guarantee that anything is in any assortment. So um, there is the Hudson Hornet, and that looks great. There's a Boulevard version of that one um, that looks very similar in that classic racing style. But that Hudson Hornet looks, oh, that looks really good. Might have to add that to the collection. Chrysler Pacifica and the Batmobile. Clip Rod. Boy, a lot of, so between the Tooligan and the Carbonator and now the Wallet Clip, there's a, there's a lot of utility in this case. 95 miles to RX-7, and then I have a, you know, a rubber ducky for bath time. Well, I don't think that thing's going to float, though. 89 Porsche 944 Turbo, fantastic recolor. 2005 Ford Mustang, another Dodge D100. Getting to the end here. High tech missile, clip rod, and then the Linster prototype, which has to be based on designer Lindsay Lee. And let's finish off with the cool one in black the Camaro, the Copa Camaro in black, the very popular 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug, the tuned bug, which a lot of you are digging. And finally, the Land Rover Series 3 pickup, the Indy 500 Oval, and the Grupo whatever times 24. 
There's my angry dog. That is the case. Kind of funny, I pulled two of these in the US case, didn't pull any in this case. Um, no GTRs, but did pull this one in the international case as well. So between the two, we are covered. You want to look for these two models. You find uh, the blue GTR, which is over on my wall display over there. Um, then you're really lucky. I think it's a really cool case. And yeah, box took some damage. The models definitely did not. It happens. That's why they're in boxes, right? Thanks, everybody. You guys tell me which models you're going to pursue in this G case, and then we'll continue on with all the other stuff I've got to show you. It's a lot. Thanks, everybody. Bye.